All right, so now I'm at the next stage doing this manifold. I'm doing some porting and some blending. And pretty much just making a big old mess. Can you see that? Yeah. That would be metal all over the place. So let me show you what I'm doing. So here's the ports. This is just a real rough blend. I don't know if you can see that very well. But blended this all out so it's actually relatively smooth now. I used a, a rough bit. This is my porting kit that I've had for eons and eons. Where's it at? This, this is a Dremel. But it's a real heavy duty, it's the industrial one. So it's a quarter inch shaft. And it comes with this flexible hose here, or flexible cable. And then I have all kinds of different bits. Or, uh, so I'm kind of different shapes, some long ones and short ones, round ones. So a bunch of carbide bits for it. And that's what I get in there with. So after I blend it all out, I'll go down. And like I said, this one's really aggressive. So that one hogged it all out pretty quick. And I'll go in there with one of these smoother ones. This one right here is a lot nicer. And round it off, blend it, and then I'll come back with some sandpaper rolls and finish cleaning all that up. So. Got this side done too. Pretty neat. This is kind of stuff that takes forever. I don't really like doing it all that much just because it does take so long to do. But we're up losing my losing my deal here. So yeah, it's a necessary part of it all. There we go. Still trying to figure out this new camera. So yeah, after I uh, get all that blended out, smoothed out, then I can start making the top, which is going to be cool because that kind of caps it all off and uh, you know, almost have it done. So that'll be fun. Hello, well, I'm back in the shop working on the manifold some more and uh, it's come along really good. So here's what's going on. Got the um, inside of it. Uh, it's all smoothed out and blended. See all that? Uh, kind of nice, right? So, got the top on it. Got the back plate on it. There it is. Right, so there's the back. And give you an overall shape. And then this morning I was working on getting the throttle body plate attached to it. So a lot of milling. Started off with a one inch chunk of aluminum. Stuck it on my mill, which is right there in the background. And I sat on this stool for a couple hours and made chips. So, mill is absolutely amazing. And of course, you have to have a lathe to go with it. Nice match set. So, I really enjoy using those. Let's see if we can dial in on some of the. See all the chips? Yeah, there's metal everywhere. Got a wee bit of a mess. To clean up in the shop hey that's part of the part of the deal right I don't even know what I'm showing you right now where's my this camera's kind of weird gotta get used to it so yeah made the throttle body plate adapter bolt on thing I don't even know what to call this but looks sick so as you can see I milled the outside shape first a little triangle kind of made that fit found the center 
bored out this 92 millimeter hole, 92 millimeters by one inch. That took a while. And then once I got that, put the throttle body on there, found my holes, found the uh, you know outline of it, milled that all out. So it took a couple, two, three hours to get all that done. And then of course, welded it on there with my new AHP Alpha TIG. Can't say enough about that welder, it's so cool. All right, so there's the throttle body. As you can see, bolts right up there. Fits pretty good, I mean, it's, it's off a little bit. CNC mill is not working, <laughs> especially since I don't have one. So I had to do all these curves by hand, but I mean, they're not too bad. I got a little tiny lip there, but good enough for the people I hang with. So throttle body is already black, which is cool because I'm going to powder coat this thing black. I used some old aluminum that I had just laying around, so it's, it wasn't polished to start with. So I pretty much just took a DA to it and sanded it all down. So it's got a bunch of little minor scratches, so it's just not... I mean, I could send it out and have it polished, but I mean, there's nothing polished on my car, so I think black's going to look really nice. So that's where we're at on that. Auto body's done, and all I have left is the injectors. So drill some holes, get the injector bungs in there. Let me show you those. All right. So here's the injector bungs. I just bought these on the old interweb. Actually got them from the same people that made this flange here. Once again, they're, you know, all CNC, they're perfect. They match 100%, they're already the right size. So, I mean, I could have made these on the lathe. Really not that difficult, just round piece with the step in there and drill the hole, but it was only like 30 something bucks for all eight of them. So, I mean, it's not even worth it. So these are going to go right in here. So I'm going to drill a hole and figure out the angle of the dangle. Um, they don't go straight. They actually go a little bit of an angle. So i got to figure all that out. I'm going to make a jig, put some sort of a stud or a bolt in there, and then jig them all up so they're exactly the same. So they can't be, you know, wonky and this way or that way. They have to be absolutely perfect in order for the fuel rails to bolt on there. So I have some have some aftermarket fuel rails which is pretty cool got a little bit of fade in the sun but <clears throat> probably gonna repowder coat those red to match that so yeah they sit a little bit of an angle maybe you guys can see that whoops sorry about that All right so they sit a little bit of an angle kind of kick back just a little bit you can see there's actually a little step right here. So I'm going to have to figure out a jig to make those all just absolutely perfect. So that's the next step, working on that part. And then after that, she gets bolted on. I suppose I should probably bolt it on first before I powder coat it, make sure it's even going to work. Um, and I got some sanding to do and a little bit of port matching, and uh, that's it. So. Getting close, almost done, so stoked. So stay tuned for the next one. Keep you guys in touch.